just to let you know if you're using acrylic paint you can clean your gun out with alcohol like this just pour the alcohol in there and let it come through that'll get the, the acrylic paint out if you're using enamel you got to use enamel thinner and 100 q-tips to get all that sticky oil based paint out of your gun and you gotta clean it over and over and over you gotta clean the oil based paint out of your gun and you gotta clean it over and over and over you gotta clean the bulb and you gotta clean the sprayer thing whatever it's called Try not to get any uh, cotton stuck in the enamel paint. But this is I'm using acrylic white, so to get it out of the gun, you just tap it, throw in alcohol, tap it, throw in alcohol, take off the cup here. So I got 15 other colors. I got blue and black still in there. That's not good. So you're constantly cleaning. And at the end of the day, you take all this apart, throw it in the thinner, you take a Q-tip, wash it all off. Take a needle, take a, what the hell are those things called? A pipe cleaner, run the pipe cleaner through it with enamel thinner. Get all the paint inside out. And it's really a chore, and this will takes most of the time actually doing the train. I spend more time cleaning this damn gun and my paintbrushes than I do weathering the train. Because without this gun, he ain't doing nothing. And I hate it. But you gotta do it. So I'm gonna dump some more. And I gotta clean inside of the bowl. Here, I'll show you. You gotta keep that clean inside. Now, that's clean, to me anyway, comparatively speaking. The tube in here you gotta keep clean. You just take alcohol, just a little bit, run it in, dump it in. See that's white now? Dump some alcohol in there, that's white. That's rubbing alcohol. And you just spray it out. All that white is gone, and you're just spraying clear alcohol. Water is good. I'll, I'll, if I have acrylic paint in there, I'll run it into the hose or stick it in a bucket of water, wash it out that way. If it's enamel, the toxic crap, I won't run it in the sink or anything. You have to clean it out with Q-tips, thinner. Oh, and by the way, everything I did to the car so far took me four hours. Approximately four hours. And then four hours to put the grab irons on, the uh, door, whatchamacallits, all the painting for, took me four hours. And I'm not even halfway done yet. So that should be dry by now. Let's take a look at it. So I 
should be dry by now. Let's take a look at it. What the basic car color is going to be. One more thing I got to say. The blue, the blue car, right now is too blue compared to the real model. It doesn't look weathered. So, it doesn't look sun bleached, bleached by the sun. So, I'm going to go over the whole car with a acrylic white later on after I eat because I'm starving. And there you go. There's our white. Where is it? Let me see. There's the white we just did. Right there. Turned out pretty good. Now I'm going to do a very light white on the whole car to give it that weathering, that bleached, sun bleached effect. But after I eat, and it's been four hours last night and today putting the grab irons, the railings. All the things you gotta do. And the paint job. The blue, the white, and the black. Four hours to do all that. Most of it I spent doing it, cleaning my gun. Just to let you know how much time it takes. And I'm adding it up as I do it today. Because I've never done it before. I just guesstimated all the other times. I'm gonna do the whole car in black. I'm gonna black the whole car with black acrylic paint mixed with alcohol and then I'm going to wipe it off and that will fill in all the cracks inside the car, all the cracks and the things that will take away some of the leftover parts that we didn't get blue then I'll put the decals on the main decal there <clears throat> and uh, from there I'll bleach the whole car white and that'll give it the sun bleached effect. So right now I gotta put the main decal on because as you can see the layers here, and what I wanted to point out, which is really, really, really important. That's important. So do it by layers. In your mind you gotta imagine brand new car, keep coming along, put that on. Then when you get the de the graffiti made. Somebody else came along, changed the name of the car, SSW, from whatever it was before, put new numbers on it. And then some kid came along over top of that and put Smiley CLSA on a tag over top of that. And that's the way you have to do it throughout the whole car. And this, the Golden West service and the squares, as you can see, is bleached white too. So, what I'm going to do is put the Gold West surface on there, then bleach the whole car white. That will give me my base. Then we can go from there as the story unfolds in the car. And that is important because your car will not look the way you want it to if you don't do it as the car is telling you how to do it. And that's important. 